Good everyone, my name is Graphics. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you see two views of a given figure that is displayed in first angle projection and we are told to reproduce this figure in oblique projection, right? Now the first thing you do when you want to draw is for you to draw your oblique axis. Now you draw your Z your X axis horizontal right you draw your y axis the vertical and you draw your um your z axis at an angle of what 45 degree is that again an angle of what 45 degree is what we have here this is the first thing you do so it means that this angle you see you see here is inclined to the horizontal with 45 degree and when I mean 45 degree I mean using your 45 degree set square to do the needful I will do it out now we proceed now move forward if you look at the figure very well from the front elevation right this is the front elevation and this is the plan that is why it's the first angle production when you see the front elevation on top of the plan is first angle production now what you just do here is we are told that whatever we are producing should be coming towards this direction at an angle of what 45 degree so what i will just do is this i'm going to extend this this way at an angle of what 45 degree this way right so don't do this this way faint line first oh you can see that now if you look from the plan right this end there this center here this point here is this point here right why the next point here is the distance of 12 from this point here so i'm going to measure a distance of 12 from here 0 to 12. this is 0 10 11 12. then after that the next one is what 26. So now from that same point, and I'm going to measure another 26. This 26 here. So it means this point you see is one center. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. And here too, I'll draw this this way. Long, short long short long here also i'll do the same thing too long short long short long and i'll close it up here long short long short long short long so from here we have two we have three centers even at this point also here let me just complete that we have long short long short long short then here i'll complete it long short long short long short long so we have center a center b and center c because what i'm doing now aside that we move forward so these three centers this a here is at this point the b here is at this point and you see here is at this point so we have three different circles is that the key now the next one is 52 millimeter away from the center from here to here which will be from here to somewhere around here so i'm going to measure 52 from zero this is 50 51 52 here so this point here is another center let me just complete it long short long short long and here, take it this way also. Long, short, long, short, long. This is another center here. I'll call it center what? Center D. Right? Now, that center D you see is at this end here from the plan. And another thickness of what? Of 12 again. So, what I'll do since they are all at an angle of 45 degree, I'll come again, take my angle 45 degree from here. Right? And I will just extend this this way. 
can you see that so once i've done that i can easily get the two points that i want to get they are simple as this so on here i'll measure the same distance which is from here to here is the same thing here so long short long short long then from this point c here is the same thing here long short long short long then this is the center point long short long short long here also long short long short long and just come to this point it means we have a b c d e and what and f although we don't really need this because here we only have this point which is d and this point which is what e so i'm going to eradicate this hope you can see that so the next one is so along this line you see here at an angle we have a circle at this point here so to get to that point i need to measure 46 millimeter from the center here to the center there so i'm going to measure 46 so from zero to 46 this is 46 here at that point we have another one which is long short long short long short long then this one here too where it meets we have long short long short long then the same thing i did here at an angle of 45 degree i will extend this All right we have just two points so this first point here is here and the next point is in the other direction so i can just use for 5 degree to extend it to that point so from this point here which is 12 i'm going to extend it to this point can you see that this point here so what i'll do is at that same point i'll do a um, long that's the center point if i want to long short long short long so i have a b c d e i'll call it to be f and here to be what g hope we are getting the picture so we're getting the picture here so we have how many center one two three four five six seven seven centers how did i know that from here this point you see here the point f is this point the point, point G is this point and it is circular because they are all given in what in diameter. Is that the key? How did I know that? He said two holes diameter 10. I will have bridges is here. So we'll start doing the needful. At every other point, I am going to draw a circle. Right? I've done the most difficult part of it to locate the center, then the rest points for me to start drawing what? The circles. So when I take my meter rule. The bigger circle here, from here, get from the plan, diameter is given to be what? 36, and the rest is what? Um, 18. So I'm going to measure 18 on my meter rule this way. From 0 to 10, this is 18 here. Can you see that? So at this point, I'll draw three circles. Right? I'm going to draw the first circle, front line. I'll come to be I'll draw the second circle point line also let's put them together I'll come to A I'll draw the third circle point line hope you can see that then that is for that guy then the next one is the radius of the remaining one which is 10 here so the radius of this side is 10 and here also is what is 10. So I'm going to measure 10 from 0 to 10. I'll place it at E. I'll draw circle of 10. And I'll come to D. I'll draw another circle of 10. Right? And I'll come to G. I'll draw another circle of 10 and I'll come to F. I'll draw another circle of 10. 
Can you see that? Now, what I will simply do is to start drawing tangent line to those points here. Is that the key? So, the first one I'll do is I can easily draw a tangent line from this at an angle of 45 degree to be easier for you since everything is in 45 degree. So, please show 45 degree size square. Then you join from here to here. All together, you join from here to here. From this to this. From this, right, to this also. Right, and also from this, you see it's connected. The same 12 millimeter away from there. I'm going to draw tangential line from here to here. Tattoo from here to this point. Then from this one to the same tangential circle from here to this point. Out there. Right? Then here also. Tadesha circle to this point too. Right, and here also Tadesha circle to this point too. Right, then here also Tadesha circle to this point too. Can you see that? Then here too, potential circle to this point too. Hope you can see that. Then here too, potential circle at 5 degree. Can you see that? So what I will do here, then here also, from this circle to this circle too, potential circle. So what I'll do is this. This is point where both of them meet here and here. I'll give the radius of hold of 15 to get the fillet of that point. So what I will just do at this point here, I'll measure a radius of 15, as you can see from the screen, and I'll place it at this point where they intersect, and I'll mark here. I'll mark here. I'll come where they meet here. I'll strike an arc and I'll come to that point where they meet here also. I'll strike another arc. So they are meeting at this point here. So from this point, I'll place my compass there. Then I'll draw a fillet, just very small. Can you see that? So this is the fillet here. So I'll just connect it from this point. To here and from this point to here and I'll take in the rest circle. So this I'm going to take in it, it's a solid, so I'll take in it this way. You can see that and still the other one since it's touching this side is solid, I'll take in from here to this point too, like this. You can see that, and also I'll take in from here to here this way. And also, I'll take in from here to here too, this way. And also, I'll take in from here to here and from here to here like this, this way. And also, I'm going to take in with my rule from this point to this point here. I'll just stop here. Can you see that? Then here also. I'll just stop here. So you can do the same thing here, with five degree. Can you see that? Then what else do we have? There's a circle from the diagram, another circle inside here, another one here, another one here. So for this particular one here, right? It is given to be 
we have it to be um, 22, diameter of 22, that's it, and the rest is what, 11. So I'm going to take my radius of 11 here, for my meter rule, from 0 to 11. Can you see that? And I'll place it here, where I'm going to draw a circle, this way. Which I am going to what thicken. Can you see that? And here there's a circle here, circle here, as you can see from the diagram, and the diameter it says two holes, diameter what? Diameter 10, meaning the rest is what five. So I'm going to measure five on my meter row this way from zero to five. And I'll place it at this center point E. And I'm going to draw this center point E. Right, center point E, and I'm going to draw this. I'll come here to G, and I'm going to draw this. So, which I'm going to tick in this way. Can you see that? So, we cannot just we can from the diagram, if you're looking from this side, you see all this here. We're looking at this angle of angle 45 degrees this way. Is that the key now? So if you look closely, we have successfully reproduced everything. There is a solid, right? So it's made from different circles. So we've successfully reproduced this in oblique projection. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.